Hello everyone, it is I, Kirby Sage, and we are back with some uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, unfortunate news. Um, I was playing this game earlier, well not earlier, but actually yesterday, and um, yeah, I, I did the playthrough, I got to uh, the boss of this uh, dungeon or temple or whatever, and um, yeah, let's just say I saved during the episode, and I went back and I tried to look through the recording and everything, and all of a sudden it was just all willy wonkers, it was all glitchy and everything, so guess what, I can't go back, I saved the game, so you know what I had to do, I had to play through the whole story all over again, from the time I woke up and the bird spat a note at me, all the way up to now, where I had the arachnophobia all day every day so anyways now that you guys know what happened um let's just i guess i'll fill you in um i did go back i did get a few things um those gold mushrooms and foreign woods or whatever you want to call it the deep woods or whatever um if you slice them it's a specific uh golden mushroom that gives you glittering spores i really don't know what they do i don't know and um i did get the the fairy from um where the old lady was you know twirling her thingy anyways we're back we got the dungeon map it's blinking at me uh, let me center this. Um, and I did also figure out something else. Uh, well, while I'm done, I guess I should probably go on with the episode. Um, I did figure something else out. Um, you know, for the past couple episodes, you know, my... God dang it, spiders. Oh, well, I'll just risk it. Um, the past couple of episodes, you probably was like, Oh, you know, your Wiimote was all kinds of wonky, and I was saying it, you know. It wasn't activating the way it should have. Blah, 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 blah. And, um, come to find out... Yeah, my sensor bar wasn't plugged in. Something so simple. Like, my sensor bar, of all things, was not plugged in. Like, how do you... How do you even come across something like that? Like, that is... That is ridiculous. Okay. So, yeah, my Wiimote should be, like, on point with everything now. So, let's try this again. We, uh, have these two guys here. This should be a heck of a lot easier. Because, oh my gosh, without the sensor bar on this thing... Oh my gosh, I can't explain to you how difficult this was. I was literally getting frustrated and was about to rage quit. It was just ridiculous. Anyways, um, we were supposed to go up there, supposed to climb up that log, go up the ropes and whatnot, or the, the vines, go through here, and uh, open this up. <sighs> That's the backstory of what happened for two days. <laughs> um, we got a small key, opens up, a, opens up something, but only in this area. Um, Let's go back through here. Uh, also, we, as you guys did see, we did get a uh, treasure chest, and uh, uh, not treasure. We got a um, a map, a dungeon map that tells us pretty much everything we really need to know about this area. It gives all the treasure locations and everything. Blah 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 blah. So now that we got the key, we can open up this right here. We can. Oh nope, let me zoom out. Sorry. Um, and we can finally, looks like we gotta go through here, but this is locked. So this might be the key right here. And then looks like we go here, and we got two treasure chests to get. And then we can go get Zelda, because Zelda's here. That's what the, uh, the, the great fatty told us. The great godfather of, of everything. So anyways, we open up the door with our handsome good looks and whatnot. And uh, we venture further into the temple. Uh, wow, this looks very beautiful nice and colorful looks like there's a lot of stuff to do a lot of keys a lot of spiders a lot of rupees a lot of monies um i think the first thing is first is to get that but we don't have any slingshots i've been slingshotting like crazy in case you guys have figured that out um keys are running away gotta figure out how to get some more deku seeds slicing up bad boys all day early day. Uh, i think someone else dropped something oh rupee all right um Let's cut these plants. Oh, there it is. There's some Deku seeds. Uh, let me get a little bit more. I think I probably will run out. Um, see, you see, you see, like that. Like it's kind of glittering, or not glittering. It's uh, kind of pouring out spores. Yeah. Um, the twinkling gold mushrooms is the one that gave us spores. So we got 15. I think that's good enough. Let's open this up. I mean, it would be better to explore. But you know what? Don't worry. We will get a chance to explore all the things here. So. Let's not worry about that. Let's go in here because in order to progress further, we actually need something that is in here. We need it. Oh, it's locked. That means we have to beat somebody up. 
beat him up with the sword, the god of sword, and we got Mr. Skeletos, I think that's what his name is, I'm not sure, he's got the excellent defense, and we need to watch out, slice, 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 alright, slice up, down, up and down, oh gosh, Woo, almost got me, Woo, got me, got me, got me, got me, Oh, I keep slicing by accident. It's a little, a little difficult. Jump back. Jump back again. Let's go up in his face and cut him open. That's how we do it. That's how we annihilate our enemies. Alright, looks like we got a treasure chest for this. Uh, let's get some hearts really quick. Just so we can be at full. F-U-L-L-E. -L -L -E, full. Why don't you judge my spelling? Oh, heart. There we go. Alright, we're good. We can now get the whatever this thing is in here. It's probably a key. No, not a key. It's a. You got the beetle! The unexplained power contained within this insect shaped item allows you to control it as it flies through the air. Point the Wii mode at the screen and press A to launch it into the air. If the controls feel out of a line, push down, and you already know what that does. It centers everything. So we have three slots out of the. Uh, eight, I think that is. I, I wasn't really counting. Um, eight or ten, I don't know. I, I guess I wasn't counting. Um, anyways, Fee says we uh, this looks like it can fly. Uh, it is a remote control beetle, pretty much. Um, press B to take off, and then press A, and blah blah blah. This thing is one of the handiest tools to have because not only, not only can it cut through thread like this, spider webs and whatnot. Boop. Drop that spider. It can also bash in the stuff like this. Boom. That's how you open that door again. Because that opened the door before, it opened it again. Now let's leave before we get locked in. It won't happen, but you know. I will show you guys another handy tool with this beetle device. It's very, very. Fa oh, 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 okay. Okay, alright. Just, you know, zoop, zoop back up. That's fine. Um, Let's get some rupees up in here. So, uh, let's go up, 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 let's drop these boxes, oh, I, I didn't shoot high enough, there we go, there we go, up, 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 and away, up, up, and away, click, drops, oh, it drops a fairy, there's a fairy in that one big old box, um, really quick before I even explore a little bit more, I'm going to actually explore in another way, I'm going to get me some money, it's gonna get me some stuff, some whatnots, so yeah, oh, money, get it, yes, got it, okay, yeah, as you can see, I am picking up these rupees, um, and I'll push B to re for have him to return to me, and look, I get that free monies, free, free monies, it is so glorious, um, so yeah, I guess I can shoot in all these, uh, little, I guess you could say, uh, ceiling hole thingy majiggers, I don't know, there's somethings, um, but yeah, this, this is a pretty neat uh, little device. Oh, look, a 20. All right, return that to us, because I don't want to crash into the wall. Um, if they do crash into the wall, as you did see when you hit the box, they do, it just comes right back to you, and it's kind of just waste. Um, and it kind of really just diminishes that whole, well, I don't know. Anyways, let's, let's just play the game. Let's play the game. So we're going to just go here, and going to do a little bit of exp uh, explorations. Get some more monies, because, you know, we out. Well, as you guys can see, probably from last episode, I think I was at like four rupees or whatever, and now I'm at a pretty oh goodness gracious, that, <laughs> oh goodness, um, I'm at a pretty decent 78. Um, the whole playthrough I have been playing, um, I dodge these guys, you can't kill them. Well, I thought I just hit the little uh, metal thing, but um, yeah, on the uh, I probably I was just really been collecting rupees. Like the first night when I was getting the um, sword. Um, I collected, I think, like 90 rupees before I even got the goddess sword. And I wasn't farming or anything. I literally just went in and collected, like, the rupees as I went in. And it just all fell together. And I was just like, yes. Um, am I even supposed to be in here? Is this the way? Let me center my Wiimote. Um, yeah, this is the way. I'm supposed to go get this, I think, treasure mesh. Treasure mesh. Treasure map all the way at the end. So let's go do that. Treasure map. Treasure chest. Oh my goodness, I can't speak today. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, let's go through this door. Let's see what lies. Oh, three eyeballs. Well, you know what we gotta do, guys. We gotta make them dizzy. Let's go make them dizzy. 
Oh gosh, where did you come from? Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? OMG. Alright. Well the door's open. So uh, they're not. So I'm guessing they're guardians of this. Oh goodness, let me center my my looking visions. My looking oh goodness. Alright, hold it and back up. There we go. It doesn't seem like that center eye wants to look. Um, I think we're too low. But if you take a look around, we can actually climb up here. Boop, boop, boop. Wait a minute, what's... Oh, that's so cool. He was up on the thingy. Okay, anyways. Um, this is what we need right here. This big metal crate. That's all we needed. Metal crate. So we're going to push this down here with our link strength link strength and then we're gonna push it a little bit more we're gonna push it all the way to the middle um, I guess that's good enough just push it to the middle um, I don't really know where the middle is I think it's like right here maybe I mean it's not too I don't think it's too specific oh, a little bit more like it's not gonna be like okay it needs to be in this precise X or circle so like you saw him look at me but I just want to be a little bit more sure. I don't want to like have to like, oh, look at this guys and then kind of find out all eyes and look at me. So now they're all looking at me. Kind of creepy actually. So we're gonna spin this in circles, and they're gonna. Sorry if uh, if you can hear that. I mean, I'm, I'm, my cord is hitting the microphone. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Really, really sorry. You probably can't. But you probably can't. I don't know. Well, no, until I finish this. So we're gonna open up this treasure chest, and we are going to get a key. It's just a key. Sorry, I have that up for a little bit too much. All right, let's go. 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 So, all right. Well, we did that. Um, wait. Y'all see that? Yeah, y'all see that little glint in the back? That's a. Is that a? Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's a diamond we gotta hit. Um, I don't think we can make that jump. So, actually, can we make that jump? Nope, we can't. We are too short. We skip leg day. Skipping all the leg days. So we will shoot this instead. Looks like we got a lot of trees to dodge. A lot of trees. Spider web. I'm going to cut that a little bit. Just a little teeny tiny bit. And we're going to hit this big old jump. Boom. Separates. Raises that water level. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we don't drown. I thought it was just going to keep rising and we're just going to drown. Drown in cutscene mode. It's not a good look for you, Link. So, let's jump up here. Um, guys, should we kill the spider? I don't think we should. Here's the thing. You cut- okay. Nope, we gotta kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Die, 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 die. Go away. I don't like it. Can I hit him in the water? Yeah! Douche. Yeah. That's the best thing ever, just watching them drown. Alright, so let's go cut these down. Is it cut enough? They're yeah, cut enough. Hurry that up a little bit and open the door. We got the small key. We can go to the other side of uh, this place. Was that a poplin? Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Get, 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 get down the keys. Stab him right in the throat. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's get these hearts because why not? I mean, why not? We worked, we worked for them hearts. Um, looks like Zelda's that way. We can't go that way. I think I got everything upstairs. Uh, not upstairs, but you know what I mean. I'm talking kind of fast, I'm sorry if I am. Um, anyways, they are these guys. You guys can kind of see them on the wall. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot them down. The good thing about the beetle is that it can cut through vines as well. So all of these little pesky things, I can demolish them. I'm going to need to to get rid, of, uh, get rid of the rope. Or get on the rope, actually. Not get rid of the rope. Cut him down and cut... Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Right. Beetle doesn't have quite good handling skills. Not handling, turning skills. There we go. He is out of there. We can cross. It is safe. It is safe. It is safe. Like, guys, I don't think you understand how good it is to have a sensor bar. Like, I never, th it never occurred to me to plug it in. Like, I literally put in Legend of Zelda, started playing, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's working without the sensor bar. I never really thought to plug it in locked in again um and I, like, I, I never thought to plug in the sensor bar and I was just like um I was like okay well whatever 
And uh, this enemy, really quick, this enemy, it has to be cut a certain way. Like that. See? His head's aligned in a certain way. you got to cut in that direction. Um, but yeah, I, I never thought to plug in the sensor bar. It just, uh, uh yeah. Oh, and sorry if I'm kind of just running through all this. I, I, I'm, no, I'm kind of scatterbrained right now, but sorry if I were just run straight through this. I literally did this episode, and, uh, yeah. It was very frustrating, because I recorded all of it, and it was glorious. Like, even I thought it was acceptable. I mean, it's my recording. I hope the thing, thing's acceptable. But, um, yeah, it was like, I did everything, and then I had to stop, because, and do it all over. And let's just say I was not a happy camper trying to do all this. Oh my gosh! Okay. Trying to do it all again. Um, we will activate this. I mean, pretty much you don't. I mean, with the beetle, you don't really need the slingshot anymore. I mean, yeah, you kind of really don't. I mean, the slingshot's okay, but it's not the best. But don't worry, the slingshot will come in handy later. Um, oh, there's a boblin on the other side. But wait, isn't Zelda over there? Hold on, let me. Oh, I can't douse. Oh, yeah, I can't douse in here. So, I believe Zelda is this way. Yes, she is. She is just straight ahead. Apparently, the church just to my left. Oh, it's a door. All right. Well, let's see. It looks like the only way to go is forward. Let's go forward into the abyss. Oh, gosh. Let's please not, you know, fall. All right. Well, he horned somebody. I don't know who he horned. Get off, get off, get off. There we go. Wait. Did y'all hear that? There's still creaking. Oh, you sly, sly dog, you. Headshot. Aha, jerks. Alright. What is this? A door. The door is locked and will not open. Oh, okay, so we gotta find the key, apparently. Um. Yeah, this is exactly where I saved, right at this point, so, yeah, it was kind of frustrating that I had to start all the way over, but we, hey, we are back, and that's all that matters, so, I'm gonna kind of speed run a little bit through all this, gonna cut this down, eventually, there we go, and, uh, yeah, so let's run, jump, oh gosh, we died, we died, I don't even know, we just died, uh, we just died, alright, let's try this again, Okay, we made it this time. Ooh, I don't know what happened the first time. Alright, let's go up here. Didn't need to grab that link, but it's oh gosh. It's okay. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Is there something in these little things? Nope, there's not. We go up here. Cut this. Cut that. There's nothing. Alright. I'd rather use the beetle right here. On, just on this one way over here. It does stop the beetle. Oh, I guess I might as well just use it. It's already out, so... On this one. Boop. Like, why are they coiled up like that? Like, how are they stuck that way? To where only, like, a little small knot... Whatever. Anyways. Let's just, uh, jump across. Let's get a good little bit of a running distance. And go, 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 go! We died. We died. We suck. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. This is not looking good on me. I'm, like, dying all over. This is the second time I died. We didn't even make it to the boss. The bowels. Alright, let's turn this way a little bit. Alright, turn a little bit straighter. Somehow turning your body and swinging in that direction, like, automatically makes it that much. Wow! Link, it was like fingertips. This ain't. Ugh. Gosh, man. I gotta try this again. Alright, go, 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 go. Alright, we made it. Alright, cool. Let's get a little bit more. Excuse me, I'm burping in my own mouth. That's nasty. Let me get more of a swing on this. Jump off. We can't reach it. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Why am I dying so much and I have not, you know, gotten to a boss or anything? Or Let me slide down a little bit. Let me stop it somehow. Squeezing your hands really tight. Oh, okay. Squeezing your hands really tight, you know, makes you uh, stop in place. So we're going to swing forward. I'm going to swing back. Swing forward. Jump. Okay. Okay. I guess we made it. I guess we made it. I guess that's how I had to do it. Alright. We jumped and we made it. Alright, cool. What's here? Something big. It's a big chest. It's different from the other ones. What is in it? It's a golden carving. 
The strangely shaped gold sculpture is carved in mysterious patterns. Oh, it's covered in mysterious patterns. What the heck? Wait, does that... Does that go to the door? I mean, it looks like it goes to the door. Oh, well, okay. A little uh, weird looking... Not really a glitch, but it was just weird. It was a little platform right there. Um, Alright, so let's make it across again. Once again, I don't think any goblins are going to follow us this time. So let's go, let's go, go Link. See, see how good my balancing is? I ain't even centered the Wiimote yet. I ain't even got to center it because the freaking sensor bar is there. Yeah, good old sensor bar. All right, pull out the key. Oh, uh, crap, crap. Oh, okay. Um, uh, how do I see behind it? Okay, it looks like an H. So I think the H looks like this. Hold on, let me turn my Wiimote. Looks a little weird. Oh, there it is. And we push it in. Okay. Oh, okay. So you gotta twist it to push it in the okay. Alright, I gotcha. Gotcha. Interesting. Guys, we are just one small step towards getting Zelda, guys. We're so close. Can you feel it? I can feel it. I'm shocked today. I'm really feeling it. Alright, let's go. Let's go get her, guys. Let's go get her. Oh gosh, the light! What the heck? Where did that come from? Who are you? Wait, wait, you're that that thing that was following me into this forest. Huh. Oh, cool trick, man. Putting the sword away. Look who it is. Oh, it's a girl. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart. Yet here you are, not in pieces. Hmm. Not that your life or death has any consequence. It is just the girl. It's just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond the door. Yes, we plucked her Majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. So you stirred the tornado. So you put me in a two-day coma. You jerk. Oh, but listen to me. I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world you call the surface. You may call me Girahem. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full entitle, Lord Girahem. But I'm not fussy. You're a jerk, man. Oh, look at that determination. Oh, we're so ready. Pulled that sword out. Woo! Let's get him. Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Furious, outraged, sick with anger. This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. Whoa, bro, you're a little too close to me, man. Whoa, need to back up off me. Whoa, put the Heisman on that. Mm, get the back up off me, bro. Mm. Still, it hardly seems fair, being of my position, to take all my anger out on you. Which is why I promise up front not to murder you. I'll just beat you with an. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was just out of nowhere. It's just, oh gosh, the flick of the tongue. Oh gosh, guys, I don't know if I can do this. All right, hold on, <clears throat> sorry. Whoo, <laughs> all right, <clears throat> all right. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. Dude, that kind of had me, man. He, the dude tried to freaking flick of the tongue right by my ear, man. The flick of the tongue. So about to fight gear him. Bring it on. Oh, 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 what? Okay, alright, alright, alright. 
Well, maybe, just maybe, Scalper Strike! Whoa, that dude's fast. What in the... what? Maybe, can you dodge a poke? Wow, that dude's hilariously fast. Oh, we got him, we got him! Uh-huh. Uh, get off! When am I supposed to cut you? Fee, help! Target lock, Gary him. Thank you, kind of know that already. I have no confirmed information about this man, other than he refers to himself as the Demon Lord. I sense a powerful and evil aura, and I estimate his level of ability as highly adept. However, according to analysis, he has yet to reveal his true power. This boy is Frieza! He just... This is my true power! Not yet! Okay, I need some more information though. You gotta give me something, Fee. Speech analysis indicates absolute confidence in his own abilities. Master, you must watch for Gearham's ability to grasp your sword with his bare right hand. So we gotta cut him from the left. It is highly probable that he observes the angle you hold your sword and prepares his defense accordingly. I recommend attacking from the opposite direction of his hand. Oh, really? Okay, we got it. We got it. Attack from the opposite direction. So we're gonna cut him well, cut like that oh, wait, oh oh we got him anyway we got him anyway yep yep come on bro come at me bro guy's gonna go down left stop no oh, he got it he caught the sword jerk all right come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on. Up, up, up. yeah jerk uh, uh, you can't stop this uh, down wait wait he's not attacking me Alright, so, uh, yeah, this is a thing. Oh, <laughs> he tried to backhand me! He tried to backhand me! Oh, that man, he tried to, uh, uh, oh, gosh. Or, oh, sorry, woman, wait, he's, is he flat-chested? This dude is flat-chested, I think. He looks flat-chested. So is this a flat-chest woman? Get off! Wait, no, V said he. This is a dude? This dude flicking a tongue on my ear? Oh gosh, come on, man. This is frustrating. Alright, let's go. Oh, 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 let's go, let's go. Oh, what the? Oh, oh missed. Alright, let's go again. Let's go again. Come on, come on. Up top. To the left. Oh, dang it. Ah. Oh, I get it. Hit bare right hand so he can block anything coming from the left side we now to swing to this, like that yeah jerk he wasn't prepared for that yeah yeah let's go yeah jerk get ready for my spinning sword attack I learned that from the master oh okay. um he's licking our lips at us man I don't like this what the heck is that I'll, I'll cut it like that yeah jerk what the heck what the heck what the heck what the no 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 oh gosh to do this fast oh we can cut that we can cut that we got that yeah take that mm-hmm mm-hmm where'd you go oh gosh where'd you come from all right let's go oh cut us all right all right all right get up get up get up move 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 oh missed too early too early way too early yeah cut him cut him cut him cut him, cut him, cut him, cut him. okay so we gotta be faster than him that's the thing we gotta be faster than him. oh missed the timing on that Sword to the side. Yep. Hey, cut up, cut up, cut up. Oh, we're dying. We're dying, Fee. I know. Shut up. Leave me alone. Oh, gosh. I, I, I tried to do the vertical strike. Yeah, jerk. Get up out of here. You don't want this, bro. You know, let's just dodge him, because I don't, I don't, I'm not going to try to swipe him. Like that. Go? Oh, gosh. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Where did you come from, dude? This is poof behind me. There you go. Oh, gosh. Ow. Get up, Link. Come on, come on, come on, Link. Link, 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 please. Link, we got one hit left. Oh, gosh, where'd you come from? Go. Oh, no, we died. We died. It's over. But wait, there's hope in Navi. Navi saves the day. Good job, Navi. Whew, good lord. I'm so glad I kind of... I'm kind of glad that I kind of... Oh he, oh, he countered that. Okay, so we got to swing from the opposite side. But, yeah, I'm kind of glad that I did have to go through it again, because I think in the last episode, I wouldn't have made that. Would have died, and it would have been game over. Game over. Oh, gosh. Okay, I can't back up. I can't back up. All right, let's do this again. This little wooden sword thing, or wooden shield, ain't doing nothing for me. It's just another one. Okay. 
Where's he at? Oh gosh, go, cut him, cut him, cut him, Link, move Link, oh my gosh, Link. V, shut up, I know. Dang it, man. Okay, swing from the left when he's on the left side. Hard to react. Oh gosh, go to the side. Alright, he's coming to my... There we go. Right, where's he at? Oh, there he is, right in front of us. Okay, right. we did it. Woo! Woo! Ric Flair, woo! <laughs> we did it. Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible for such a soft boy. Sorry, I'm not reading it right. But don't clap yourself quite yet. The sword of yours is the only reason you still live. Well, yeah, Fee, you did put in a lot of help. You, if it wasn't for that, I would have not have figured out how to beat him. Thank you, Fee. We need to thank Fee, guys. Thank you, Fee. Anyways, I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. So Zelda's gone? Goodbye, Scout Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> Interesting. For someone claiming to be the Dark Lord, you... You weren't, like, insanely unbeatable and whatnot. That's weird. It's whatevs. It's whatevs. We got the heart container floating in front of us. Gonna grab it in just a few seconds. Gonna grab it now, actually. Should boost our health by one and give us full health. You got a heart container. Your life has increased by one and is now fully replenished. <sighs> Guys, let's, let's thank Navi. Let's thank Fee. Let's thank all the secondary characters that we got pissed at over the games and whatnot. Cause if it wasn't for them, we'd be dead right now. We must I mean we died plenty of times before, but we would be dead against Garaham. If it wasn't for Navi coming in when we were down and out, and then if it wasn't for, you know, what was her name? Um uh, whatever her name was. Fee, there we go. Darn, forgot her name already. Fee. Good old Fee. Fee Fee. Oh, I saw that rupee. Don't don't you dare try to hide that from me. I saw that rupee up there. Man, there's butterflies all over the place. It's a nice place. Nice and peaceful. Unlike my talking mood. We don't talk we don't talk peacefully. No, I just want this. Yeah. I think it's up on the last I think it's on this one. Oh no no no, it's on the other one. It's on the other one. It's on the other one. Move, move, move. Okay. We need the monies. Honestly, I don't think there's anything else in around here. So let's jump, let's jump, let's jump. Uh, we need to hurt and close this episode out. So, we will move onward, skyward, and we'll flick the little emblem thing in circles. Alright. Oh. Alright then, it's beautiful. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. From the edge of time, I guide you. The one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. The spring maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other one is known as Earth Spring. Oh, okay. This is very beautiful. This second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. Hmm, okay. The spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for this second sacred place. Alright, so... <clears throat> Zelda went to that second place, wherever that is. Um, she is getting uh, purified, whatever that means. Um, you got the ruby tablet. This weather surfaces of, of this heavy stone makes it feel old. Um, so apparently she's there. I don't know how she got there. Girahim did say something about a servant. A servant of the goddess. But who the heck is that? You were just in the sword, what are you doing? Master, as I just translated, it would appear Zelda purified herself in this waters of the spring. 
I calculate 90, 97% chance that she has already set up for Elden. Where the other... You just... But if that's her... Then what the other 3%? What's she doing? Just lollygagging around? Oh, man. I promise you, man. These percentages. However, it is not clear of what method of travel Zelda used from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. In doing so, will open up a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to the other area and continue to search for Zelda. Woo! Let's return to the sky once more before continuing our search. The bird statue outside will take us back up. Oh wait, so we gotta go through the temple again? Oh, unless it's gonna do it for us? You gonna do it for us? Oh, okay. Alright, so it's not gonna do it for us. Alright, anyways. Alrighty, guys. Um, if you like what you saw, and if you like that Fee helped us and Navi helped us stay alive and whatnots, um, hit that like button. That's all I ask for. Um, you can also subscribe. That's also very helpful to you because if you subscribe, it lets you know when I put out another Legend of Zelda or whatever else I put out. Um, or if you want, you can just check back in regularly whenever you feel like it doesn't matter to me. I just want that like button. Um, if you want, you can also leave a comment. Um, but that's about it. Alrighty, guys. It's about 36 minutes in. And uh, I will see you guys around next time in the next video. Until which we will return the tablet to the altar and figure out how to get to Elden. Because I'm pretty sure you put the tablet in the altar. And it shoots the beam of light down. And it goes boof. And then we go into that new area. Yes, that's probably what's going to happen next time. So, until next time, guys. I will see you then. Alright. Bye-bye.